Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about simplifying numerical expressions that do not involve exponents, including up to two levels of groupings. These level of groupings are brackets and parentheses, okay, if you have them in the same operation. First of all, what are order of operations? These are the rules of which calculations are performed first when simplifying an expression. So you can have first, as you can see in the blue square, you have parentheses and brackets at the same time. So one way that I have to differentiate them is that little line. So which one are you gonna perform first? The parentheses will always go inside the bracket, but you can have more than one parentheses. So if you have two parentheses, you're gonna solve first and parentheses on the left side always. Then after identifying your parentheses and your bracket, you're gonna be working with your multiplication and your division that this could be the operation that are inside the parentheses and the brackets. Which one goes for between the multiplication and division? The one that goes on the left side. That means that if you have a division on the left side or a multiplication on the left side, either way is good. You're gonna perform always the operation that goes first on the left side. That's why I like to create an arrow here, a black arrow. That means that you are, are, you are working first with the one who goes on the left side. Also, whenever you don't have any other multiplication or division, you're gonna be working with addition and subtraction. Which one are you gonna perform first? The addition or the subtraction, the one that is on the left side. So sometimes you could have addition and sometimes you could have subtraction. Either way is good. The one that goes on the left side will go first. That means that also, that's why I'm putting here the arrow, the black arrow, that means that you're gonna perform the one that goes on the left side first, okay? Something important to remember is that there are various indicators of multiplication in expressions. The most common one, the one that we know is the X, five times 15 is equal to 75. Also, 5.15 is equal to 75. That's the same than 5 times 15. 5 parentheses, 15 is equal to 75. 5 in a parenthesis without any symbol, and then a 15 in a parenthesis, you are doing 5 times 15, that's 75. Then if you have 5 bracket 15, and close the bracket, you have that you are repeating the number 15 five times, so it's also 5 times 15. And then if you have a bracket, and inside the bracket you have a number without a symbol, and then a parenthesis, that means that you're repeating the parenthesis five times. So it's again, five times 15 is equal to 75, okay? Now, let's show time. For every word problem, we always need to do our annotations, always. We're gonna highlight our parts, we're gonna highlight the values in each part, and then we're gonna highlight the action words. Also, at the end, we're always gonna underline the question because remember that it's telling me what is important to do. Here we have a word problem, Nakita bought items at a grocery store. And then what is the price of the items that Nakita bought? So I'm gonna read it because I already did the annotations for you. So that now that the annotations are done, let's read it with the annotations. She bought two boxes of, cra of crackers. That means that I have two parts, that each of the parts are three and 50 each, $3.50 each. She used a coupon for 80 cents off the price of each box of crackers. I mean that you're taking 80 cents out of the price of each box. Then she bought a jar of peanut butter for $4.85. Then she bought a package of juice boxes for $2.40. And then she used a coupon for $3 off. I mean that she took $3. So the expression above can be used to determine the price of the item that she bought. What is the price of the item that she bought? So now I just have to create the order, the order of operation chart that I previously showed. And then we have to just simplify following the order of operation. I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you have any parentheses or brackets here? Yes, actually you have both. You have parentheses and brackets. So which one are you gonna solve first? You're gonna solve the parentheses that is inside the bracket. But let's focus right now just in the parentheses over here. So you have three and 50 hundred minus 80 hundred. How are you gonna solve that? Let me use this one over here. Three and 50 minus 80 hundred. That's gonna be equal to Zero minus zero, zero. Five minus eight, you cannot. The five has to become a 15 because he's gonna borrow from the ones. And the ones, instead of being three ones, it's gonna be two ones. Now, 15 minus eight is gonna be seven, and then decimal, and then two minus zero, two. My answer for that one is two and 700. After doing this one, I can, you are smart enough to know which operation goes next. I just would recommend for you to rewrite your expression. That's gonna help you to don't mess up, okay? So now, after you rewrite your expression, do you still have a bracket or a parenthesis? You still have a bracket. So 
as we can see, I highlighted the entire bracket and we have two, three operations inside the bracket. I see two symbols of addition, but I don't see any symbol between the 2 and the 2 and 70. So that means that that one is a yes, that one is a multiplication. Remember that I told you that two parentheses, 2 and 70 hundred, that's the same than two times 2 and 70 hundred. So let me solve 2 and 70 hundred times 2. That's going to be, I'm going to create a tic-tac-toe just to practice our type of groups. So two groups of zero, nothing, zero. Two groups of seven is 14. As you can see, it's highlighted there in the tic-tac-toe. And then two groups of two is equal to four, plus the one that I regrouped from the 14 is equal to five. Also something important that you have to remember is that your product will have as many decimals as there are among your factors. In this case, two digits in the decimal place. So as you can see there, your factors are two and 700, and the other factor is two. So in 700, that means that you have two decimals. In your product, that is five and 40, you're gonna have two decimals, okay? That's a clue that I always like to give you so you can have all these answers correct. After solving, I'm gonna rewrite my expression. Do I still have a bracket? Yes, and inside my bracket, I have two operations. Both of those are addition. Which one should I solve first? The one that goes on the left side. Five and 40 plus four and 85. Let me go with the next one over here. I already put them in the same place value. Five plus zero, five, four plus eight, 12. I'm gonna regroup the one. Remember the place, the decimal point. And then one plus five, six plus four, 10. 10 and 2,500. Now I'm gonna rewrite my expression again. Do you still have a bracket? Yes, I do. And I have one operation inside my bracket. Which operation is that? It's an addition. So now it's gonna be 10 and 25 plus two and 40. I'm gonna align them, and then 10 and 25 plus two and 40, five plus zero, five, two plus 46, then it's gonna be the decimal, two plus zero is two, and then one plus zero, one, 12 and 6,500. I'm gonna rewrite my expression, and I don't have any more my brackets, so I can cross them out. I'm crossing out also the multiplication and the division. So here I only have a subtraction, 12 and 65 minus three. That's the only operation that I have to solve. The last one is a subtraction. Now. I'm gonna give you here, how can we solve that 12 and 65 minus three? Is that the left, right, or the left operation or the right? Which one did you select? I hope that you select the one on the left side because if you select the one on the right side, you're wrong. Why? Because the three in the one on the right side is in the hundredth place. And the three here is not in the hundredth place. The three is a whole. So you have to align the place values it's supposed to be. I'm gonna even delete it. I'm not gonna keep it there. So, Five minus zero, five. Six minus zero, six. You have to put the decimal point. And then two minus three, you cannot. You have to borrow from the tens. If you take 10 from 10, that means that 10 becomes a zero. 12 minus three is equal to nine. Your answer for this one, guys, is nine and 65 hundred. Nine what? Nine dollars and 65 cents. That was the price of the item that, that she bought, that Nakira bought. So with that being said, guys, I just cross out all my chart. And I'm done with the explanation. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math and simplified numerical expression with two groups of le uh, with two levels of grouping. With that being said, at the end I have this for you to take some notes, please. And I hope that you learn a lot. See you in the next chapter of Mr. Sanchez and his math. Have a good one.